Armando Hasudungan Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group. For the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasudungan. In this video, we're going to look at the coronary artery and the cardiac veins. So the coronary blood supply is the circulation of blood in the blood vessels of the heart. You have coronary arteries and the veins. Let us look um, at the coronary arteries first. Coronary, coronary arteries supply blood to the heart muscles. So we'll first look at the anterior view of the heart and look at the coronary arteries from there. So here we have the aorta in red, rich in oxygenated blood. The two main coronary arteries are the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. Concentrating on the right coronary artery, it will divide into the right posterior descending artery that goes around the back and we have also the acute marginal artery, that the, the small uh, part that you can see in the front. And these arteries from the right coronary artery will supply the right atrium, the right ventricle, and the sinoatrial and atrioventricular nodes, which are the conduction systems of the heart. Unfortunately, I have not drawn these names here. Anyways, we also have the left coronary artery um, that will divide to the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery. These arteries will supply blood to the left atrium and the left ventricle. Now, if we look at the heart from the posterior view, so from the back, here we have the left side of the heart and here we have the right side of the heart. And just so we know where we are, this is the uh, right atrium here and this is the left atrium here. Now let's continue looking at the coronary arteries which came from the, from the anterior view. This is part of the right coronary artery, the posterior descending artery that wraps around to the back here and supplies the right ventricle and the right atrium with blood. On the left side here is the circumflex artery which I mentioned that wraps around and supplies the left atrium with freshly oxygenated blood. Wherever there are arteries there will always be veins. The veins will leave the cardiac muscle cells and will bring the deoxygenated blood back to the right atrium through the coronary sinus. So the veins that will bring the deoxygenated uh, blood back to the right atrium, it will bring it through the coronary sinus. So all the deoxygenated blood from, from heart muscles will go back through the coronary sinus back to the right atrium. You have the small cardiac vein from the right side of the heart joining with the coronary sinus. And then the middle vein from the right ventricle here joining onto the coronary sinus. We also have the posterior vein from the left ventricle joining onto the coronary sinus, bringing back deoxygenated blood to the right atrium. Here we have the great cardiac vein which we can see comes from the front of the heart here. This is the great cardiac vein. And just to remember this is the small cardiac vein here. Also that is very important there is an anterior vein that does not join onto the coronary sinus but drains blood directly to the right atrium. So this vein is very important to remember because the anterior vein does not join to the coronary sinus but drains blood directly, drains deoxygenated blood directly to the right atrium. 
And so I hope you enjoyed this drawing on the cardiac arteries and veins. Uh, thank you for watching.